We're here at the Rizalston Chalk Pit. It's a bright sunny Sunday and we're here to look at the chalk. Can you tell me a little bit about the chalk and how it's formed? Well, about uh, 100 million years ago, sea levels suddenly rose. And those sea levels went to more than 300 metres above present day. And in those seas were a group of calcareous algae that floated in the tops of the ocean. And those calcareous algae bloomed for some reason above the chalk seas. And they multiplied in their billions. And when they died, their, the material sank down into the seabed and built up what we call the chalk ooze, a calcareous ooze. And slowly that ooze hardened into a rock over time. And how did flint Oh, flint. Well, flint is an extraordinary rock because, as you've seen today, the chalk is very soft uh, and weak, whereas the flint is exceptionally hard, one of the hardest rocks in all. So within the chalk, the flint, if you look at it in the quarry that we've just been in today, you'll see the flint in layers. And those layers reflect where animals once burrowed in the seabed and where they change the chemistry of the seabed so that the material that flint is made of, which is silica, will form. And um, that's where the flint formed, not on the seabed, but about around 30 centimetres, 50 centimetres below the seabed. Chalk Sea. Well, the chalk seas were, were very warm. They're much warmer than the present day. In fact, when the chalk seas were forming, um, we had a climate on Earth that we call a hot house. You might have heard of, a, of an ice house in the last ice ages we hear. But during that period of time, 100 to 60 million years ago, the Earth was a hot house, and so the climate was very different. Um, the world was very different. The big continents were only just beginning to the, the break up at the beginning of the Upper Cretaceous, beginning when the chalk was forming. So you're getting new oceans, very hot climates, you're getting the beginnings of new mountain ranges like the Himalayas and the Alps, so a very different world. 